Um, how do you think we take the metaphysical principles mainstream to people who just think it's a load of woo-woo nonsense? I mean, yeah. what's your take on that? That's actually what, what I, I think I'm, I'm trying to do. Um, by bringing credibility to the subject with science. Yeah. And, and what I, I try to do is explain even the complex science in the simplest possible ways so that my mum and dad and my auntie Jean, <laughs> yeah. who are just ordinary people, can read it and say, you know, I get that. Yeah. I understand that. You know, and so that's what I'm trying to do. And there is a lot of great mainstream science out there. I mean, for instance, hardly no one in the public knows that if you take people who share an emotional bond, husband and wife, mother and daughter, same-sex partners, separate them by the length of a corridor, put one in an MRI scanner. So let's say it's husband and wife, the wife's in an MRI, husband's down the corridor, thinks he's in the waiting room waiting on her. After 10 minutes, startle him, light in the eye, flashing light, gets a fright. The exact moment the wife's brain flashes, picks up a flash in the visual cortex. It's a visual processing part. And it demonstrates an interconnectedness. Yeah. In the scientific literature, it's called correlations yeah. between the neural states of people who are separated by this. That's how they write it up. And, and so I even explain that kind of science, and it begins to even shake people who've got no knowledge of this whole field and think, my, is that really real? And then it starts to get into people's heads. So, my God, there's, the world works perhaps differently yeah. from how we previously understand. So I use that type of example, explain how it works, what it actually means for us in our lives. Mm. And I think by giving credibility with science to that field, it kind of makes the whole field less woo-woo. 